How to Care for a Nipple Piercing A nipple piercing can be done for self-expression, increased sensitivity, or aesthetic reasons. Whatever your motivation is, a nipple piercing requires some attention and care. You must be particularly careful during the healing process. Cleaning can be tedious, but good aftercare is necessary and important if you want to maintain good health and avoid infection, irritation, or rejection. Method 1 Caring for a New Piercing 1. Clean your piercing twice a day. Your piercing will take 3 to 6 months to heal. It may take longer than that if you do not care for it properly or if it becomes infected. The longer you have your piercing, the less you will have to clean it. Only use a sterile solution or a salt water soak to clean your new piercing. If you over, clean your piercing or use harsh products, your piercing will become irritated and take longer to heal. 2. Do not take part in sexual activity that involves your nipple or piercing. Saliva may contain bacteria that can cause infection as well. These measures may seem extreme, but if your piercing becomes infected, you will have a much bigger problem on your hands with a much longer healing process. Take precautionary measures to heal your piercing and your body will thank you. In addition to saliva, any rough play, rubbing, or touching should be avoided as well. 3. Wear clean, breathable fabrics. You will probably feel most comfortable in a fitted sports bra, tank top, or shirt. Cotton is preferable since it is breathable and absorbs sweat which decreases the ability for germs to harbor and cause infection. Wash and change your sheets once a week as well. Sleeping in a fitted sports bra or tank top will also keep you from snagging your piercing on your sheets or comforter. 4. Know what is normal. While your piercing is healing, you may experience some discoloration and tightness around the jewelry. Your body will also secrete a whitish, yellow fluid, and you will see crust on your jewelry. All of this is normal. You still may have crusties after your piercing heals. The crust should easily wash away with warm water. Pay attention to the amount of discharge and crust that you have. This will help you gauge what is normal for you. 5. Look out for infection. If you experience redness, unusual swelling, itching, burning, a rash, or pain that will not go away or subside, you may have an infection. If you do not have an infection, you may be sensitive to the cleaning products you are using or to the jewelry that is in your piercing. Pay attention to your body. If you feel like something is not right, look into it. If you notice a bad odor, an increase in discharge, or your discharge changes color, you may have an infection as well.